What is going on you quality lot? Quality XA here today and today I am bringing you guys a brand new Destiny 2 news video. So this is pretty awesome, I'm not going to hold you back and let's get right into this. So first off, we are going to start off with the Iron Guard. So as you guys can see, I've got a screenshot behind and you can see that there are some of the new cast and voice actors in Destiny. We've got Nathan Fillion for Cade 6, Lance Reddick for Commander Zavala, Gina Torres for Ikora Ray. You've also got Neil Kaplan for Ghoul. And then we've actually got two ones which we currently have not seen or do not know about. So you've got Frank Langella or Langella, and that is known as the console. Now the console apparently overrules Ghoul. He is almost like Ghoul's boss and commands Ghoul on what to do. So the console could be a future raid boss or possibly featured in an end boss story. Uh, in, in the end of Destiny. And then next, we've actually got Bob Carter, who plays the Iron Guard. Now, what the Iron Guard could be, I do not have a clue about. Will it relate to Iron Banner? Possibly, because Iron is a very specific word with Destiny. When you think of Iron, you think of the Iron Temple, you think of Iron Banner, or even the Iron Lord. So the Iron Guard could be a group of characters which got Bob Carter plays, or it might just be one character. But it'll be very interesting to see. It could also be our brand new place of where to go when we want to do Iron Banner in Destiny 2. Very, very interesting indeed. But I just wanted to run that by you and let me know in that comment section below what you guys think the Iron Guard is, or what do you guys want the console to look like? Um, because I can imagine it being just a weird human, um, but I do not know at this point in time, so it's very cool to speculate. The next thing that I actually wanted to bring up was this screenshot here on the Bungie website. Now, this is, was well, was Deed showing off some of the new emblems. So as you guys can see at the top, this is a new emblem which runs across your entire screen. Now, there are actually seven new emblems coming into Destiny 2, exclusive if you are a Destiny 1 veteran. I covered that in yesterday's video, so if you guys would like to check that out, there's a link in the description below on how you can get some veteran rewards. But what I was actually focusing on is the different stuff on this little screenshot. Now, specifically, Grimmore. Now, or should I say Glimmer? Glimmer in this, or Destiny 1, was limited to 25,000. In this, you can see Deej has 34,556, which is very, very much increased by 10,000 almost, which is pretty awesome indeed. It just means that you can hold more stuff, and it might mean that Glimmer is becoming more of a common currency to use rather than having the premium currencies what we did with legendary marks as such. But regardless, pretty cool. We've also got the new sidebar. So as you can see at the top, it has records, clan, character, inventory and settings. We've got no quest tabs in this one, but I can imagine all of our quests and records books going in the records tabs just to keep record of everything. Um, the clan tab, I can imagine being pretty cool, showing you what you will unlock when you level your clan rank up as well as what your clan looks like. Check out all of your members, all of that cool stuff. And then the character inventory and settings we already know. And then the last interesting thing that I did want to speak about is at the bottom of this screen, you can see toggle subscreen. Now, I don't actually know what that means, but it says press down on the D-pad. What I believe this could mean is possibly you press down on the D-pad and you might actually be able to see your character in first person. So in case you're changing weapons, something like that, you'll be able to see when you get attacked but I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what it sounds like to me. I could be completely wrong there, guys, but pretty awesome indeed. And uh, yeah, some cool, cool features. And like I said, if you guys wanted to see what new emblems are coming into Destiny 2 and what you veteran players can earn, check out my video. It's in the link in the description below, but very, very cool indeed. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about this week. We have actually got one more thing, and that's regarding Trolls of Osiris, as well as Iron Banner. Now, as you guys know, Destiny 2 comes out in September. 
if you guys want to play the last Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris, you guys are looking for August the 1st, that is the final Destiny 1 Iron Banner, and August the 11th, that is the final Destiny 1 Trials of Osiris. So very, very sad that they are going. We will still have Xur around the tower, and the console exclusives are actually being transferred from PlayStation and coming on Xbox in October 2017, so just after Destiny 2 releases. But very cool indeed, and that pretty much rounds up this news roundup, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. But as always, if you guys did enjoy it, please do smash that like button, as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here. Like I said, if you guys wanted to check out that uh, Vectrum reward emblems, there's a annotation on screen now, and I've got two videos there. And as always, subscribe if you guys are new. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.